You see, when you wake up, here's what happens. You pick up the vibration or the feeling of where you left off the night before. And what you've got to realize is sometimes you will get really annoyed. Sometimes you cry yourself to sleep. Sometimes you're ruminating about the busyness. Sometimes you have a good old session in your head about you, what didn't get done. And that, you got to realize your subconscious mind, which is where all the results come from, doesn't switch off when you go to sleep. So imagine you read nightmares to your kids as they went to sleep. And the big wolf at the child. <laughs> And that's 30 seconds I'm not getting back. And that brutal. 
with myself. But I'm really fun, and I do cool things, and we have a wonderful life. I just don't get caught up in life. And the only way that I'm able to keep myself in this disciplined attitude is that I set it every day. And I do that through gratitude. Your mind is energy. You wouldn't have a bare wire in your house lying about. I always remember um, one Christmas there was a cable and there was a little wire hanging out. So of course, Kim had a good poke on it. <laughs> Um, I, did, I mean, I still almost feel it. And that's, you just wouldn't do it. My children will do it, I get it, because you're not aware, you're nosy, you're inquisitive. But you would well, usually go about those things up and have something on it. Well, you're a bit of a live wire too. Until you tame that energy until you purposefully direct it in an intelligent manner towards a definite chief aim. That's your goals. If I know I've got access to all of our universe, I mean, really think about this. If you know, and just pretend that you don't believe it, if you've all access to the most potent energy in the universe, you've got to look at we're using it for and go, oh my goodness. I'm using it for that. And I'm not saying like your life or your goals. I'm just talking about simple little things where you give your time every day. Like I keep saying this, this is your life. I said that in the video, trade your life for what you do. You don't know when your life will end. That's one thing we do not know. And it's a good job because we, if we knew, we, we'd be an anxious mess. But you should also work on the premise, not from fear, but from a place of, well, oh, I'm grateful I woke up today. I'm grateful that I've got air. I'm so grateful for oxygen that I don't even have to worry about. Because there's an endless supply to that too. And we've got to remember those things instead of, oh, I forgot I haven't done that email or that paperwork. Because that's where your mind goes to. There's some times that you have family and you're not really present with them. Or there's times that you don't even give yourself any time. Like when's the last time you took yourself off for a day to just pamper you? That's one of the things that I'm always urging my clients to do. Go take yourself off to a spa. Go take a walk in the park. Just take a day off. And they're like, what? I mean, it's the funniest thing for me. So I'm like, yeah, that's what I want you to do. And people squirm at the thought of it. Take time off? I'm too busy to do that. No. You take time off, you're going to come back and get twice as much done tomorrow. Because we think we're going out and getting stuff done, but because you haven't changed your mind into an optimal level of energy efficiency, you're really performing at a low level. So there's a lot of leverage in this. This is how I get so much done in so little time. Because you know it's easier to do something when you're in the energy of it. We call it the spirit of it. But if you're not feeling it, oh, it's hard. If you're trying to write some marketing for your business or an email to a client or write a book or make music, if you're not in the right place, that is brutal. And you're just giving your force in it and then it doesn't feel right. And then there's one time if you do it, you went, oh, that's it, that's it, that's perfect. Well, that's the feeling of knowingness. You're on the right frequency. But when you don't feel like that, then things become hard. And then also, if you go and do the thing, like let's say you're marketing your business, if, or you're on a sales conversation, or you're on the, it doesn't matter what situation, if you're not in the energy that you need to be in, which is high energy, and I'm not talking about, wow, I'm talking about just in a good, calm, confident energy, thinking from the wish fulfilled, 
If you're not there and you write, let's say, a marketing something or something you're putting out, you've got to realize that your energy is being transmuted into the text or into the computer, because that's everything's energy, computer's energy, I'm energy. And when I type words, then those words are energy, and they're picked up by the receiver in the same energy you sent them. Now, it's not about the words. Two people can write the same thing, but if the two people's energy is different, they'll be picked up more effectively. Like, this is massive. This can multiply you to seven to eight figures in your business alone. People always ask me, hey, how do you attract all these clients? And it's the number one question I get. And I just say, I just attract them. I do what I'm taught. I don't have any, you know, secret sauce. My secret is attitude, it's the magic word. I put feeling into what I'm doing. Instead of writing 10 emails, coming from 95% strategy, 5% mindset, I could write one email with all the energy and I could get a much bigger response. And have to write nine less emails. This is leverage and alignment. But in order for you to get there, you've got to first understand gratitude. Because this is what's going to tune you. It's kind of like, okay, switching on this little switch today, and I'm ready, okay? And it says, first you must believe that there is one intelligent substance. So that's, there's another word for the same thing. Energy, power. From which all things proceed. So first you've got to believe that. Okay? Second, uh, you believe that this substance gives you everything you desire. So you've got to become consciously aware and grow your belief. And it's not going to be today or yesterday. This takes time. Studying this. Other topics are not even have time to cover, but really getting into this understanding that one, this exists, two, it's here to help you, it wants to give you everything that you can desire, and there's nobody saying, well, you can't have that, but you can have that. You can have anything, you can be anything, you can be anything, you just have to ask for it, and you've got to believe it, and then you receive it. So, the third thing is you've got to relate to it through a deep feeling of profound gratitude. The purpose of this is to hook you up to the source of supply. When you feel really grateful for something, it changes something inside you. It changes your energy point, and your energy will go up. So if you, let's say, don't do that, you just get up and go to work and something happens, well, you went to work at this energy level, and by the time you're going through work, or by the time you get home, you probably went to here. There's something else in the mind, or just your energy is depleted. And then you get home to your family, which is what matters most, is why you go to work every day, you're going home in this energy. Which is not fair to you or your family. Now, instead of starting here, when you wake up, you could assume your mind to go up here. Now, natural things in life will happen. You'll probably dip a little part at some point. The more you become a student of this, the more you become disciplined, you won't drop at all. Because the key is you want to be like this. Not neutral, not nothing, but in this just knowingness. I am just so grateful for my life. It's a sense of peace. It's a sense of knowingness and awareness that I'm exactly where I need to be. Everything I need is on its way to me. This is a good day. That's why I wrote that little thing I gave you yesterday. That's a piece of gratitude. It makes you feel good. So that's really the first part of gratitude, is feeling good in the knowing. 